Bon Moi Moi Ren. Nini chem na Bon. Mr. Bon. Bye Ze. Ah ni kudala. Yeah, it's just been a minute. Yeah, I it's think been... partly it's because you know, you and I have had like a weird type of relationship. Yeah. You know, um a couple of times you've spoken about me in one of your songs. <laughs> 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 Then you know people call me Then people call me at ah you why me and you with TP I put down for the home but you see I'm one type of person that understands um the industry the I understand industry. how hip hop yeah. works and yeah. you know so for for me half the time I find it funny because I know it's not coming from a bad place I know it's not that yeah, yeah. you sat down and you felt bitterness and say you know what that uh, can be you yeah. know what I'm saying I think for you it's just like or just anybody like even what Juvik says in a song and you know some yeah, people yeah. Are like ah, but they're not going to shoot I'm going to you know what um that might not entirely be true mm-hmm. it's for him it's like he just felt he should say something about me yeah. you know not necessarily and that I he... think hip hop hip hop is not complete without name drops like yeah. for that's how i feel like it's always it's, been like yeah that. it's always been like that so we just follow what uh, 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 our peers created so it's something that you just have to do it's something that just happens yeah. so it's not it doesn't uh, necessarily mean that i'm dissing kb but i just feel like okay people should know about yeah yeah this situation yeah, yeah. Yeah. You 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 have a weird personality. I, I think from every rapper that I know. Yeah. In person you're this calm, you know, well calculated type of guy, you know, you think about what you're going to talk about, you're very yeah. very calm, but when you're on the microphone you're like a very different type of person like you've got like a different personality. Yeah. You know, like you're very aggressive. You're always talking about how you're number one, you know, you don't care about who thinks they're number one in what yeah. they do. You always feel before anybody tells you anything like you know what i'm the best at what yeah. i do and you believed it yeah, yeah. before anybody else did yeah i think i think that's how it's supposed to be for me um i don't see i don't see anyone holding the number one spot <laughs> apart from me yourself <laughs> apart from myself <laughs> even <laughs> when you know yeah. some people are better than you yeah but you don't um, believe there's anybody better than you i don't i don't believe in that like no, but we each, all... each and every person is good in their own way they, yeah they have the, the stronghold they know what uh um uh they're able to deliver and what tp is about for me i decided to be to make my music more creative like i don't like to give music just uh, for the sake of for the sake of you just know getting in the studio and just yeah, recording it and just recording it i like it to have some chord type of so that it lasts you longer know yeah longer that way someone will be listening to the song and trying to figure out what was this guy really thinking, thinking about that's kind of yeah. like nas yeah yeah you so know, i like try to do that what you want and that's out. what makes me different from the rest of the guys yeah. absolutely man yeah. i feel it's the same way with producers i think every producer i don't think you can pinpoint and say that's the best producer i think everybody's like that's the pr- best producer when it comes to that type yes. of musical yeah. he's good with the 808 yeah. this producer is good with the keys yeah, yeah. this producer is good with arranging music yeah, it's, it's like it's like what people say K army music is R&B so cool. music yeah, R&B is so cool. Cool. music yeah it's got these these nice Vibe. chords yeah, yeah, yeah. you know Absolutely. so if, even if you do a hip hop beat people will be like can be yeah he did this yeah, beat yeah. you know what i'm saying so yeah. that's how it is with musicians and right? producers all right tv i, I want to get straight into this conversation you know this is my favorite yeah. part you know i like personally i like to take it you know back to where it all started you know how yeah. we met and mm-hmm. I, i know we met at the bar at the same time i met alpha i think mm-hmm. I think I met Alpha then I met you less than a year. I think I met you the very year when I met Alpha. I met Alpha in 2008, no 2009. I think it was a year after. I think 2010. Yeah. yeah We so met I'm, to end of 2009. End of 2009, correct. Yeah. So yeah, Alpha introduced me to you. I don't know whether no, I knew you first then I knew Sheffy, was it? What, what uh, was the pattern? He introduced me first, then I introduced Sheffy. Oh, you the one who introduced yeah. Sheffy to me? Yes. Because I remember this time you, Alpha, and Sheffy came to the studio, the time when you had put the Young Energy Movement, when yeah, you yeah. put the Young yeah. Energy Movement. Yeah, and actually it wasn't Young Energy Movement. What the, was it? The group was called Solid. Oh, the group was called Solid, huh? Yeah, before it changed Moved to, to Young Energy. Yes. I'm the so, one who changed it, yeah? Yeah, it was Solid, uh, which had uh, me, Alpha Romeo, um, uh, Sheffy, uh, what's the... Uh, the guy's name oh, is it right signed by uh crisis uh lb oh lb was all oh, you guys were the same yes. crew yes and there was uh one more guy t boy's nephew 
His name was Soldier. So we were five. Oh, I remember five. Soldier. We I didn't five. even know. I didn't even know that. Boy, I didn't know that LB was part of it. He was part of it. I don't know what happened. Uh, obviously, I had some misunderstanding with Alpha. Yeah. So and and at the same time that happened, he got a deal and left. Went to Diamond Chain. Ah. Uh, Sheffy decided to go, go back to, the to the school. Yeah, I remember. He went by uh, Evelyn on. Yeah. Then study. moved back to the yeah, moved back to the Copper Belt. Yeah. Then it was just me and Alpha. Yeah. Yeah. That's when we decided to put that together yeah that was very interesting mm -hmm. you know so so i remember you know fast forward you know um so after that solely then it was just you 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 and alpha then yeah. jay cash came mm -hmm. came came into the camp mm -hmm. then i think nana i don't know whether nana or juvie came uh i don't really remember like exactly how but i remember happened. there was like a but five I remember of you. there was brisky alpha is that alpha introduced jay cash then jay cash brought juvie or the other way around no no, no alpha brought juvie Alpha brought Juvik, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Then Juvik is the one who introduced who brought J Cash. No, then, no, no. J, 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 I, I brought J Cash. I mean, I, I, I knew J Cash from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Then I, you know, then I, I played the stuff to Alpha. Alpha yeah. kind of liked it. That's how I brought oh, yeah, yeah. J Cash on okay. board. Then Juvik came. Then I think Nana came. Was Nana last or what? Nana, Nana was the last. No, no. Nana was wasn't risky. the last. Nana was introduced by... Daxon. Daxon introduced Nana to me. But I brought I brought Nana. Because yeah. I remember meeting Nana somewhere they say I could rap. Then I said, mm. do something for me. Then mm. she freestyled, then I liked what she did, then I tried on the beat. Yeah, but Daxon brought her in the morning at the studio. It was on a Sunday, I remember. Oh, is it? Hey, I found this girl. I don't know, they met somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. You know, yeah, I found this girl, she can rap, she can do whatever, whatever, whatever. So we talked, we um, you know, exchanged numbers and uh, maybe after two days or so. Uh, Alpha Romeo was uh, um, uh, Alpha Romeo shared with me to say, "Oh, Daxon has brought someone that oh, I already met the person. So mm. this is how we are going to work. We mm. needed um, a female to just challenge Spice it risky up. and yeah, yeah, yeah. To push her to do to work Spread harder. And, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So." Uh, we we even had that. that young energy. Move. What anthem? What was that song called again? Yeah, she's been mm. forever. I don't even remember intro. the song. <laughs> the intro. intro, yeah. yeah. I need and to find that song. The last person was Tishon. Yeah, Tishon was the last person. Yeah, Tishon was the last. But he was not exactly in the young energy movement group. I think he was just doing his own thing. Uh, we wanted to 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 uh, to have him as a as a producer. Yeah. Because I remember how Tishon came about. Alpha Romeo gave me. Um, a demo CD for Tishon. It had three songs. There was uh, one song called uh, 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 It went something like and Then we recorded and it. And yeah. We recorded we that song. It, yes. Yeah. We recorded it, yes. So it as a single. I listened to to the three songs on the CD then I called Alpha to say uh, this guy is good. He's really good, but he had told me about there's this artist uh, in the hood. He's just going around studios, making beats, free beats for people. Let's get him on Young Energy and see what we can do. But listen to this demo CD. So I listened to the demo and I convinced Alpha to say this guy is good. We have to talk to KB. But obviously, I wasn't in the picture there. You didn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah, so Alpha is one of the yeah. conversation with. Yeah, so that's how Tishon came about, and it was the last one. But I don't know what happened again. He decided to do his own thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's very true. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's where it all started yeah. from. Then obviously after that, you know, there were kind of differences, you know, uh, with everybody. I don't know whether you have a, you had a difference with me by then, but I know that you had a difference with Alpha, and that sort of yeah. put everything in um, in a bad state. I believed at the time when we had Young Energy, you know, with you, yeah. J Cash, Alpha, Brisky, Nana. You know, I, I personally I thought that was gonna become the biggest group at the it time. It was because the, the, at the time the only group that you're competing with, I think X Y Z had just XYZ. yeah, that just you know they had yeah. those slab, those Johnny C. Yeah. Um, what the other? I know Damiano was there as well. Damiano, there was Raf. Yeah, Raf uh, kid. Yeah, yeah. Mm, so that's else. that. That was that yeah, was the that group was... that you guys were gonna start competing, but they were slightly ahead because yeah, yeah. that already started the movement from like mm. maybe two thousand and eight. Yeah. So in my mind, I thought this, you know, this was gonna be like a really, really. I thought of it like a young, like like a young cash money. Yeah, young money. Cash young money, money, cash money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know, everybody yeah. was unique, and mm. you know, it's coming up pretty well. But it never materialized. I, I felt that there were so many egos 
in in that group you yeah, yeah. first of all you had problems with alpha i think you never agreed on certain things i think you felt that you you didn't have to have a leader in the group yeah so you rather just you know everybody which, just make and contributions those, those are things that me and alpha uh, you know we sit down and discuss they say look we cannot just have a crew let's have one person to to lead everyone like uh, we would have meetings where we say, um, okay, we're going to have this event. This event will be opened by this guy. We'll close with J Cash. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll plan everything. But then uh, the issue came in when the much more money were getting, mm. you know, uh, uh, they were not shared equally or, you know, nicely. But the argument is like, why should we share the amount equally when I'm the bigger when I'm artist? The bigger I have artist. the songs. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm selling you guys to the yeah. people. And also there was one other guy, um, Innocent. His name is Innocent. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Innocent Tim. Yeah, right. I remember. I remember. Yes. I remember. He was also part of. Yeah, the group. I, remember. I remember. Yeah. So we uh, we had those differences, and I felt like um, uh, it wasn't just working right for me. So I felt. Let me just leave. And that's that's how and, the and break what went. really made me leave was when I made that record for Nana and then She went to give me the slap dick. She went I don't know if it's you You no 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 <laughs> Now that you're here, yeah I wanna explain what happened. So what happened was um Tisha made the beat, I remember. Yeah. Tisha made the beat. Mm-hmm. You wrote you wrote the verses yeah, for Nana, right? Yeah. You wrote the verses for Nana, mm-hmm. then you wrote your own verse yeah. and recorded it. Yeah. So the song was kind of complete. Mm-hmm. Then I had no idea that Nana, you know, at some point when she listened to it, she's like, you know what, I'd rather have Slab D on it. So I said, it's fine. Then we can keep both. You can have yeah. Slab D on it and you mm-hmm. can have a TP on the record. Yeah, yeah. So because I didn't make the song per se, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. then I discovered later afterwards that they had removed your verse from mm-hmm. the song and that puts Slab D's verse on a song yeah. and that didn't sit well with you. <laughs> yeah, you that didn't sit well with me. I, was I, I think you upset. actually went went ahead and talked about it in the song. Oh, KB, I'm like, this guy, what is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, that didn't sit I'm well not, with me. Because, I'm not the one who removed your yeah, verse. Because I remember my agreement with Nana was, look, um, the content I'm going to put on this song, like everything I'm writing for you. That was your concept, though. Yeah. No, she, no, she had gave me the concept. concept. Yeah. She had the concept, but uh-huh. she didn't have the words. Yeah. So um, I told her, I said, the payment for this, what I'm doing for you, uh, is me to have a, a verse feature. on this song. Yeah, yeah. Because I know it's a big song. Yeah, you knew. <laughs> yeah, I knew that this is a big song. Yeah. So I have to be a part of it. So uh, after like a week or so, I was uh, driving around with the boys, uh, tuned to QFM. That time, QFM was the popping. was popping yeah, the biggest yeah, radio station. Yeah. Boom! The song is there. I'm there waiting for my verse. Oh, listen to this. But you don't hear your verse. I don't hear my verse. There's slap D. So I called Nana, asked Nana, "Hey, what's going on?" She told me, "No, <laughs> KB decided that." We put <laughs> Slap D for exposure. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I, guess I was what told. I said? Yeah. So oh, I was wow. Like, okay, cool. Let, let me just forget about it, and I moved on. But um, you never called me to ask me. Um, I don't know why I didn't call, but I I just decided. So let me just. You know, because if you have on. called me, you'd have and, gotten and, the real. And that time, I think like a year before, I met. Uh, um, Maki too, and we kind of had this conversation where he was telling me about setting up Alpha Entertainments and whatnot. Yeah, then you signed. He, yeah, then he told me, I'll give you a call when everything is ready to, you know, when we're starting this label. So I'm going to give you a call, you come to the Copper Belt so that we start working. So I was just like, ah, this is maybe even the Better cue for me to, <laughs> to, to leave. leave. <laughs> yeah, that's how I left. Yeah, yeah. I remember, but it kind of... It kind of worked out pretty good for you, you know. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, but you know, we 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 maintained, we sort of maintained the friendship because you know, even though you would go and talk about things like yeah. that in the song, I think when we made it was like a whole different ball game. Because I remember, fast forward to a couple of years from then, mm-hmm. um, you, you you started coming back to the studio. I think that was around 2011, 12. Yeah, 2011. You started coming 12. back to the studio. I don't know what I we mean, were doing. Um, that time I was working with uh, Lillian, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Savannah yeah, chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we had signed. She was sponsoring a, you. Yeah, we had signed a management deal. Mm-hmm. So she was just talking to people 
that uh, 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 she knew back home. That yeah. time she was in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. spoke to me. Yeah, so she spoke to you. We started recording again. We started I remember. recording the first song. We even we did. did that that Michael Jackson. Yeah, with yeah, Roberto. Yeah, with Roberto. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was like the first record after I came back. And I remember that's about the time when uh, Esau used to come to me. So rest yeah, in yeah. peace. Esau used to work for Esau, Hot FM. Esau Lungu, yeah. used to, we used to come and do adverts. And yeah, yeah. Then you told me that, mm. and I remember it was random. Yeah, yeah. So he says, "I'm looking for somebody to help." Then I said, "Then I asked TAP." He yeah, says, yeah. "Yeah, I can do it." Yeah. But were you into production then? Um, you, I was. You had just started. Yeah, I just started. Actually, I learned everything from, from me, Kami, and from KB. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, cool. what happened that day was when I met Esau Lung was you were busy. I don't know where you were rushing to. Yeah. So you left me and said, record an advert for me. Yeah. And I'll come, and, I'll edit come it. and edit it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But what happened was uh, Esau wanted to deliver that advert. Ah. So I mixed it myself and gave, gave it. it to him. Yeah. So when he went, the client loved the advert. Yeah. And uh, his colleagues at Hot FM liked it as well. They said, who did this? We don't have a production guy. Yeah. Because at the time, Tony Roller Costa was the production guy left. I left, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was at QFM, so it yeah, was like yeah, conflict yeah. of interest. Mm-hmm. So that's how I was invited for an interview. So you should come do an interview at Hot FM. They're looking for recommendation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I went there. I did the interview uh, after a week or so. I was called and I started working there. So you've been working there for from then. From that then. was 2012. Uh, non. End of 2010. End of 2010. I was there for nine years. It's been that long? Yeah, nine years. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. That was 2010? Mm-hmm. My goodness. 2010. So I worked for Hot nine years as production manager. Uh, later, I was uh, I was uh, given a post of uh, playlist manager. Yeah. yeah and you stopped doing... playlist in my music? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that never used to TAP, happen. you stopped playlist in my music? <laughs> that never happened. No, you did. That I never stopped happened. All of a sudden, I stopped listening to my music. Yeah, so uh, uh, I started doing playlists from uh, playlists. Um, was... But you stopped playlist in alpha songs. No, 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 no. Alpha, Alpha's music was was good music. And for me, it wasn't about personal issues. Yeah, it was just about the problems. music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, um, I was given an opportunity to produce the top 10 at 10. Yeah, I remember. I started producing the top 10 at 10. I did that for like three years or four. Uh, I was part of the creative team. So I kind of learned a lot from you and from Hot FM. Yeah. yeah. And now you've got your own management team going on. Yeah, yeah. Nice, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we get into some of the most personal issues. I want to start from um, I want to start from here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, pe- people don't know that I actually approached you for a diary, for yeah. a diary verse. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, um, and and you know, a lot of people, and this is a funny thing, and you yeah. know, and and I love this opportunity because mm. we talk about things that people might not have an idea of. Yeah. So a lot of people did actually know that um, before all this, you know, even before you, you know, at Court Slap did numerous times yeah, yeah. to be on the diary session. I mm-hmm. called Bobby numerous times to be on. Yeah. You know, I actually even sent beats, yeah, yeah. and I never got response. Yeah. So when you know when fans, you know fans want to listen to their favorite artists on yeah, the yeah. diary session, they want to hear yeah. the story. So you know they start to attack you. Okay, why don't you have this guy? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you have Muzo? Mm-hmm. Why don't you have this? And you know yeah. what I'm saying. And you know you can't you can't go explain to everybody. Like, you know what? I actually reached out to this guy, but they didn't get back yeah, to me. I mean, you yeah. can't, you, you don't do that. Yeah, I remember you, you sent me something. I did. I think yeah. that must have been for Diary 6. Yeah, yeah. I think 6 or 7, I can't remember. Yeah. So yeah. I sent it to you, then you had the beat for like, I think close to a month. Yeah. And you just called me back and said, ah, KB, you know what? Um, I've talked about things similar to this. Yeah. A lot uh, of times. It, we were doing uh, a series with Mzenga Man called Kumbuka. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kumbuka. So I kind of felt like, um it was almost the same concept yeah yeah so i felt like i've kind of um you talked about talked it in about, kumbuka yeah in kumbuka yeah so um i didn't want to to get the same content and, and put, put it, it on the yeah, diary yeah and put it on the diary even though there were some things that i left out that i feel should be on the diary but i just felt but that it was wasn't a, just the right time. That was a big for opportunity for you to be like on a diary session, and you just turned yeah. it down. You just told me, "Okay, hey, you know what?" No, this is. I think it, it was meant to be like that, so that we even make it bigger. So now that people are looking forward to have TAP, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do something. So you're confirming that you're gonna be on one of the diaries? Yes, uh, and I would like to be on the last one. 
<laughs> I don't know when the last one is coming. Because the diary if, continues. If, I don't know. I don't tenth, know if, if the tenth uh, uh, diary is going to be the last one, I don't then think, I should be on it. I don't think the tenth will even be the last one. Uh, and it I comes, think we might even go up to twenty. But by the time with, we get into twenty, you'll be like forty-five years old. Hey, I have a lot of things to say by then. <laughs> that would be yeah. interesting. Yeah, we still have forty-five year old rappers. So you yeah. confirm that I actually reached out to you? Yes, yes, I'm confirmed. You've heard you for yourself. Out to me, but uh, at that time I was doing something with Nzengaman in the same line as Diary. I also want to talk about the Muzo situation. So I, I, I you know, it would have been nice if I had him here. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, speak about it. Mm-hmm. Um, Muzo is also one of the guys that I've, I've been wanting to get on the Diary conversation for a while. Wow, I think I've tried on about three occasions. Yeah. You see, first of all, the problem is distance. You know, Muzo is all the way in Kasama. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I always feel like, you know, for me to get the beat to Muzo, he needs to have like a management that, you know, is handling him yeah, and yeah. that sort yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. So there was a time Muzo came came to Lusaka, I think, two years ago. Mm-hmm. He was recording some songs. So he came to me and says, KB, I want you to do some songs for me. So mm-hmm. I told him how much I charge. He's like, I've got no money, but I would love you to produce music for me. I said, mm-hmm. okay, you know what? I, I work on butter system, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I mean, it's, yeah, it's a small industry. I'll, yeah, do, yeah. I'll do a favor for you. Mm-hmm. Next time, I'm going to need a favor from you. I probably need a verse for a particular song. Yeah. I didn't know what I, you know, I would have loved to get from him. So mm-hmm. I did the two songs for him. Mm-hmm. I think we did three then plus one remix. So I did, yeah. in total, I did three songs for him. So when the time came, I called him, mm-hmm. but he wasn't in Osaka at the time. The first time mm-hmm. I called him, he wasn't in Osaka. Mm-hmm. So I called him and he says, oh, no, but I'm in, I'm in Kasama, yari yari, but you can send the beat. But after track communicating, after afterwards mm-hmm. when i tried communicating he was not really picking up my call i don't know why um so that <laughs> passed I, i've spent some time with muzo yeah um i remember the time the time that um he just got signed to alpha entertainment yeah whenever he was in lusaka i used to uh, come to my house spend the night there do whatever he's doing in lusaka then then go back so i know how muzo Muzo's mind of, yeah, operates. Uh, Muzo is someone who will do something with someone because he wants to, not because you want him to do. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. So he will only uh, reach out to someone he wants to do something with. Not when not, you want to do something no, with him. No, it doesn't work like that with Muzo. Unless if he wants. Unless if he wants. To so say, it's a one-sided situation. I want to. I want to have. TAP on my album. I'm gonna have TAP on my album. Yeah, that's what he, he would just tell you. Yeah, in English, for I've got I've got two or two or three. In the end, therefore, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? And he said, I know a lot of producers that are dope in this country, but I only want to work with Shinko, and that's what I'm going to do. That's Muzo. That's how it works. You understand? So I think that's that's where that comes from. Is is. Maybe it was just maybe some things that we don't know about that happened. Well, yeah, but but that's not the first time. So the second time he was in Lusaka. So the mm-hmm. second time when he came to Lusaka, I was not ready to start recording. Mm-hmm. But I gave him a heads up. Mm-hmm. He says, okay, I'm in Lusaka, but I'm coming back in Lusaka next month. Yeah. I said, okay, that's cool. Because I don't want to start recording something that I will finish three, four months later. Because so, mm-hmm. so much would have happened in that period of time. Yeah, yeah. So everything that I record normally is just within that period like you know if, if i start sending the beat it's just within that month that you know i put everything together then put out the record so yeah. i told him I said, okay you know what when you're coming to the soccer let me know so mm-hmm. it, it so happened that he didn't come so i called him the second time mm-hmm. oh no i'm ready for the diary yeah, yeah, yeah. then this mm-hmm. is what he told me <laughs> 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 i'll pause so <laughs> i'll say okay you know what i said that's not a problem yeah i said okay but Here's what happened. You came to Lusaka like mm-hmm. two years ago mm-hmm. and you walked in, you wanted to record. So I told you how much I charge and mm-hmm. you said you have got no money to pay for it. Then I said, okay, cool. I'm going to record you. Then, you know, we're going to work on a better system. Yeah. You know, I do something for you, do something for me. Have, yeah. you, have you forgotten that? <laughs> That's what he has to do. <laughs> yeah. I need to pay the producer. I need to yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I asked him, how much do you need? Yeah. So he told me the amount. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say the amount. He told me the amount of money that he wanted. I said, okay, no problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, if that's the case, because I understood, you know, like, you know, he doesn't have a studio of his yeah, own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has to go to another studio. Mm-hmm. They have to record and they have to email yeah, yeah. Um, the stuff. So he asked me to send the beat. I sent the beat and after checking on WhatsApp after two days, it never 
check like the message. Oh, never. He, didn't, he didn't check the message. I don't know whether he just decided to go offline yeah. after that. <laughs> and the message just never went just after that. And I tried to call him, he didn't pick up my call. Oh, yeah. So after that, you know, it's one of those where, you know, I have so many other options. And, you know, that's how I just left that. And, you know, I went for the other options and, you know, and, and whatnot. So that's how we went ahead and completed the diary without I think him. Maybe, maybe we're, just, we're just having a rough time. You know, uh, just you know, coping with uh, our life and what it presented at the time. Yeah. Looking at it just left Alpha Entertainment. Yeah. There was so much going on. Yeah. There was this Muzo that Muzo. And there were so many rumors yeah, going around. Yeah, so many around rumors about uh, Muzo going around. So yeah. uh, I think he needed time to just you know reflect. Yeah, yeah, reflect on what's going on and um, then come back and do something, but. You know, it happens for a reason. For me, it happens for. But a you reason. are, you are, you are so <laughs> calm now. The TAP that I know was, yeah. You know, your music, you are so rude. But like I said, when I sit and have a conversation with you, it's always a positive conversation. And I can yeah. say this, you know, to everybody that is watching this, you and I always have very productive conversation. Yeah. I don't think we've ever been in a situation where we sit and we're just having like empty conversation. It's the same thing with Maki too. Yeah. There are very few individuals, you know, there are certain people like when you're having a conversation, they're just talking about how they got drunk yesterday yeah. and you know what I'm saying or how they met these girls yeah. and you know what I'm saying and you yeah. know, we've never had that type of conversation. Our conversation has always been productive like yeah. we sit down, how can you grow this and how yeah. do you see the industry moving and yeah. you know what I'm saying? we share ideas yeah. and it's, it's just kind the other day I was sharing the, the how to grow your YouTube channel yeah. tips. Yeah. I got that and the first thing that came to mind was KB. KB. Yeah. But I, I've, been, I've been doing a lot of my yeah. own research as well. And you know, just talking to other people like Roberto and you know, just other people. And I you know this information is very good information that yeah. you share with a lot of people because, and I always say, it's a very small industry, yeah. you know. Um, it's, not, it's not worth it to keep all the valuable information to, yeah, yourself, to yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, why do you want to die with such good information yeah. when you can pass it on to other yeah. people. I kind yeah. of feel like some people like to hold that information because they feel like, ah, and that's, that's the only it. way. That's the only way our industry is going yeah. to grow. The more, yeah. the more we learn to say, yeah. we cannot all be friends. No, yeah, but, but you can, we can share, share ideas. You can share ideas. That, for me, so I feel guys, that's the only way the industry yeah. is going to grow. Mm. And this, I won't lie to you. This, this mostly is the kind of conversation I have with Maki too. Every yeah. time me and Maki, yeah. even at the gym, if we spend thirty minutes, mm -hmm. trust me, that thirty minutes, there's going to be a lot of information that yeah. when I go back and see, I say, wow. You know, that was an eye-opener. Like, even mm -hmm. today, we're talking about, I'm not going to mention what, yeah, yeah. but we were talking about something important. You told me yeah, something yeah. that I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. The other day, I was talking to somebody about something that I learned. So when I put yeah. all this information together, we're able to, you know, know exactly which direction we're headed to. And I yeah. feel like we're going to help the younger generation, yeah. you know, be, like, in a safer place. Because we hustled. Like, our yeah. struggle, you know? Our struggle was people, so people, bad. Like the new, the new wave. No, no yeah. disrespect. Yeah. The new wave have it. Very easy. Easy. It's here. And this is what I get. We used to do promo CDs, a lot of hundred CDs. CDs, Brinko CDs. Going you go buy from Kamala. City market. Yeah. <laughs> Just Distribu dropping, distributing. Taxis. Taxis. Buses. Buses. Yeah. I know. All the time. Yeah. We would have. Uh, I'll give you an example. Even the pirates. Me, me, Alpha, Stone. Yeah, Stone. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. Stone, uh, yeah. Get, to my bags full yeah. of CDs, CDs. I remember. just going club to club, yeah. drop one here, drop one, one there, there, drop one here, drop yeah. every day. But there's there's um, there's internet today. And yeah. Everything is digital. Yeah. I remember how you know back then you know because we didn't have internet, so yeah. for a song to blow, it would take at least six, just in Osaka three to six months. Yeah, three to for six other six towns months. like Livingston. I don't want to use permanent, pirators. Permanent, I'm talking about pirators, sorry. Distributors. <laughs> distributors. <laughs> permanent house. Permanent house. Whenever you find a CD written mashup, yeah. those CDs used to, used to go like very, very yeah. far. Like, yeah. like you knew where to take the yeah. music. No, they, 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 they did so much, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, this mashup. Mm. Uh, what's, what's his real name, though? Um, the name always runs out. Is Mwinga something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He really helped the industry. Yeah. Him, there was a guy called Lucas. Yeah. It's Lucas, huh? Lucas and Lucas Don, Mason, rest in peace. There's um, Topman. There's oh, those Topman. Topman, Topizo. Yeah, Topman, Topizo. <laughs> I hope I always shout him out. Yeah. yeah. Was my thought. Here's another thing I've discovered about you, TAP. Um, yeah. You have refuse to go with the trends you know most i know most most of my friends most of the artists are always obsessed about 
I need to make a hit record. I need to have this artist, you know, while yeah. it's hot, put him on the record. I know it was never easy when you started off, you yeah. know, but you have sort of had your fan base. I kind of feel like you've reached, you've reached your peak. You, you know, like people know exactly who TAP is. Like yeah. even when there's a show, they know what to expect from yeah. TAP and TAP's music. How did you manage to do that? Uh, first things first is um, I learned that as as an artist or you know could be any form of uh, creative but as an artist you don't have to go in the studio to look for a hit song you so have to, I just go in the principle. studio to create yeah. you know what I'm saying and give it to the people yeah. whoever wants to listen will yeah. listen whoever doesn't doesn't listen to yeah, it doesn't listen to it so I, 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 I work on uh, that principle so I just go in the studio to make music I'm an artist and my work is to create and truth be told, yeah. and here's the funny thing, truth be told, majority of the hit records that we did, we did them like that. And yeah. I remember when I was doing stuff for Alpha Romeo, I think I was one of the first producers that didn't necessarily make commercial music for Alpha. Like it yeah. was not like like the usual, like even when you listen to, let's say for example, um, Rumor. Rumor, Rumor had like a R&B bounce yeah, and you know like even President. Yeah, President. So when you're making it's like when President you're making it always be my favorite. Yeah, so what yeah, so when we're making it is like you just want to make like really good sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying and you leave the rest to the people. There's some songs that when I was making I was not even thinking like oh this is going to be a big song, you know what I'm saying? Like I can name at least even from top of my head like even 15 or 20 songs that yeah. we just made because we're just having fun we're just having fun in the studio we're just yeah, having fun you know where you're not even thinking like ah oh, this song is probably <laughs> gonna be like even like for example the b flow song the one with judy cry of a woman you know he just came mm -hmm. with the concept and i thought it was a good concept you know it's one yeah. of those where you're not thinking this is gonna be like ultimately like one of the and, biggest and, songs and, that and particular year easy you can tell if an artist is is trying so hard yeah. to make a to big make a, song. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying, they're trying so to follow hard. trends. Yes, they're trying to follow trends and just um, keep the name up there. Yeah. But for me, making music is 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 is, is it's a very complicated creative process, and and it requires one to understand what exactly you are doing. Yeah. So if you go in the studio to make music, go in the studio and just make music. Yeah. Don't go in the studio and make to music look for a hit people. song. That's true. Uh, yeah. If you try to find a hit song, you'll never find it because at the end of the day, it's the people that make the song a hit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I, I like can the tell way you, put it. I can tell you at a, at, before um, Van Ono came out. Yeah. Um, I had a few, like three, four producers that told me to say, ah, there's a song by Maki too. It can't beat your song with your maps. You know, it's ah, it's not a good song. It's not a word. But look where yeah. the song is. The it's people it, decided it, it, to it say it. It officially hit yeah. one million views on... Yeah, yeah. people decided. Yeah, of yeah, course. People, people make the songs yeah. a hit songs. But You're very smart, TP. Thank you, sir. I, I always say that, you know, you are, yeah. you are a well-calculated guy. I enjoy having conversation with people that smart and you know always have something to contribute and you know i because i'll and, and this is what people don't know i learn from everybody i learn from you i sit down and have a i have an honest conversation with you and you know yeah. i pay attention and i'm picking up things and i'm learning something and you would never know you never know who you're going to learn from so it's yeah. not like because i've been there before you so only you can get advice from me i can yeah. get advice from you for me um the the two things you know love hate whatever all, all these things were created to create a balance like it's so, supposed to be like this. are you currently in, <laughs> in, in in problems with a couple of artists uh i haven't i haven't had like conversations with a lot of them yeah um uh the only person i would say not really a problem is is shafi like mm. there's this a bit of a you know a distance what happened? between i don't know i don't i don't know i'm straight i'm still trying to figure that time out. he doesn't have maybe calls, time maybe. sometimes calls go and answer uh, no responses from whatsapp he mm. was supposed to be on my radar but he wasn't there mm. but then, let me let me leave this call <laughs> for for diary <laughs> for diary then so so, 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 so tap is confirming on so t okay <laughs> so we're currently on diary eight so tap is confirming it's going to be on diary 10. Diary well 10. you never know which one is going to be on so diary 10 and yeah. uh it should be produced by cog yourself myself should have your maps on the hook and should have some uh, vocals 
in the background by Kantu. Okay. Yeah. So you have decided what you want. Yeah. So, so you want make to have that your own special and send it to me, my own. So TAP got balls, huh? <laughs> of course. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> He's telling me what he wants to be there. Okay, yeah. that's, that that would be very interesting. Yeah, no problem. When when we get to that, we get to that, and you know, like you know, just let's just conclude it. Just you know, quick ones. And I, I know you you've been listening to music for a long time. Yeah. And we can both predict what's gonna happen. I can tell you now mm-hmm. that there's going to be a revolution you know like i'll give an example if you followed like the music industry like in the states you know yeah. there was an era where there was the nas the jay-z's yeah. the dmx that was like pretty much the same era yeah you know they had their run 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 mm-hmm. run then 2003 no early 2000 eminem came through yeah eminem came yeah then 50 cents came 50 cents. there was the fabulous era the lloyd bang the lloyd bang that's when the g unit the, came. Yeah. yeah that moved after that was it after that? Was it like the Ludacris era? Those, yeah, Ludacris. Ludacris, Nelly, 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 Nelly. Yeah, the you Nelly, know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. so what I'm trying to say is that there's a pattern here. You know, um, if you remember when the industry was starting off, you know, from where I can remember it, you know, there was the Dannys, then mm-hmm. came the Chameleons, mm-hmm. the Hamovas, the yeah. Aussies, you know, mm-hmm. the Petersons, mm-hmm. you know, the Slap D's, the Market yeah. the Alphas, and you know, and yeah. now it's kind of transitioning. Mm-hmm. Like you know, there's always this these movements that has happened yeah yeah can yeah, you I've, predict I've, it i've been i've been watching the the transitions from from outside zambia how everything has been changing yeah i think we are, we we headed that path yeah but then they we're still a little stuck here yeah a little stuck here and there because i feel um there isn't much of you know the the content that the new wave is putting out cannot equal what the what past yeah what the past you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's very difficult for people to switch switch immediately yeah, because it's not but it's, it's the sound is new yeah but what's being talked about so you're saying the new school yeah. are not yet that's that's a yeah. good conversation yeah but it, it's 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 something that can happen yeah so who do you think yeah. possibly would like who do you think is going to lead the new school female side i mm. think uh, Natasha Chansa got the vibe. Oh yeah, Natasha She's got the vibe. Coming. She's creative. She's definitely coming. Um, she can sing. She, she can, can rap. rap. She can <laughs> produce actually. Yeah. She can produce. She For can real? Play. Yeah, she can produce. Most of the songs, like even the uh, the We Got that. the Fire. Yeah. I was basically eighty percent was just high. She she told me what she wanted. Yeah. yeah. You know, she wanted this is what and, I and, want. And that's that's being an artist. That's, yeah, that's being an artist. Like even yeah. when I was mixing it, she came and say. So we started to arrange like mm-hmm. I want the percussions here to change. Yeah. I don't want to kick yeah. here. I want yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? I want it to have a break here. I want this one to come here. I want Cleo's vest to start like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this t-shirt part, can you remove this and you know keep this? You know what I'm saying? That's that's part of being a producer. So yeah. you don't yeah. just get credit for everything. Yeah. She's already doing it. That's if she continues, you know, with the push and just uh going hard like she is now yeah. because there's always this um uh uh, relaxation thing that comes when, yeah. whenever you you hit a certain yeah uh, 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 level in the industry. That's true. Yeah, like for example, I haven't heard content from females in a while. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me apart too. from the sensation I heard from Leo. Yeah, um, Bombshell's last record was what? Uh, Can't remember. Uh, Backshot. Uh, Backshot. Yeah. And it's been months. Yeah. I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard from Moise either. Yeah. You know, you know. But what I'm can't have something new coming up. Yeah, so if we get we get someone who's like um consistent with putting music out, video, yeah. We, it's it's going to work. What about from the guys? From I know the there's guys. a lot of new new Ooh. school guys that are, the guys the, the, that the are coming guys. up, you know. So can you mention one or two? One or two that you're listening to right now that you feel like you know. Um, uh, this person I'm going to mention, I didn't start listening to them today. Yeah. Like I know Jedi from way back. Yeah, me too. From way back, yeah, they used to have hustling. a group called the Kicks. Yeah. With his friend Kessler. I've been listening to Jedi, and I and I and I always knew that one day this guy's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Mm. Mm. But mm. The, you know, the new school, the new school are doing their thing. They're doing their thing. You know, this, I was having this conversation with, I can't remember who, he was telling me that, you know, um, we, the sound is definitely going to change. They feel, the new school feel that whatever the case, 
people are going to jump on the wave. Look at what happened to people like an AKA. Mm -hmm. AKA predominantly, you know, raps in English, but you know, he's probably like for the longest of time, for the last 10 years or so, mm -hmm. he was like one of the biggest SA rappers. Like he's always in the top three. Yeah. yeah. Cause he, they changed it. You know, before they were in Zola, I used to rap in the yeah, typical. Yeah. So they, so they kind of feel like the same could happen here because the younger generation mm -hmm. are listening to this cruise crew. Yeah, this, this, the, what the this is like is everywhere. Even, even Kwame which I want to come from ghetto, the younger generation are on that mm -hmm. vibe. So they kind of feel like in the next two years, that is bound to happen. I and mean, if some of these old school guys still kind of holding on to their old, mm -hmm. they are at risk of. Yeah, but uh, the, the, the but you are the thing, with trends. Yeah, the thing is, the, these guys have they have an advantage. You know what I'm saying? We everything is digital now. It's very yeah. easy to do yeah. things. It's to very, get around. Very easy. Yeah, that's true. All right, man. It's always I'm nice sure having you. Be. You know, I'm thinking maybe if I, I don't think we've exhausted everything because you know we the haven't. time now I've realized that the time is so it's so minimal to kind of have. Because we normally have this normal convert. Sometimes it's still like yeah. for three hours just, you know, sharing ideas. Yeah. But, you know, giving it as content to people. Yeah. You know, I feel like we don't necessarily give out everything. So if I feel like there's still things that we want to talk about, there's only going to be a part two. Of course. Yeah, of stay course. safe, man. Self-distancing. Yeah, self-distancing. Yeah, man. We need to sanitize up here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>